Ryan here again. Wanted to talk about the infamous 1073. It is a preamp or a mic preamp and an EQ uh, unit made by Neve. And you've heard it on almost every single recording like the 1176 compressor. It was a little complicated for me to understand at first. So I'm gonna try to help you understand it a little bit and how to use it. So let's take a look. Okay, so let me play this back for you and then we'll take a look at the EQ. Okay, you'll notice that I was taking it in and out and what a drastic difference it makes. Okay, so this is the emulation of, you know, the, the 1073 made by Neve EQ. And there's lots of, there, this emulation is made by lots of plug-in manufacturers. This is a really great one. Um, so to break it down from left to right, this is a high pass filter meaning that everything, ab whatever level we, s whatever number we set here, everything above that will get through. So you're basically cutting out everything below the number you set here. Why do we want to do that? Well, with the human voice, there's generally nothing below um, 70. I mean, 70 is a really good spot. Um, 80 is kind of where... Uh, you know, I'm liking it. This is a little bit too much, cutting out too much bass frequency. So 80 is where, where I'm setting it for this uh, for this use. And then this is called a low filter. So what this is, is see this, and, and by the way, see this little line right there? This HP means high pass. And then this kind of line is showing a graphic of what it's doing. It's slowly like, Everything is left in, you know, way up here. And then when it gets down to here, it gradually slopes down and, and rolls off the low end. Now this is a shelf. That's what this little symbol means. So basically everything from 100 hertz down, we're, we're, we're lowering. So we're lowering 60 hertz, we're lowering 35, we're lowering 50, we're lowering 100. Um, and the way that's set is, see this, see how, the, it's a little confusing, there's two knobs here. This right here, this center knob, is, you know, your gain or your cut. Right now we're cutting eight decibels. And this outer knob is what frequency we're going to gain or cut. So, you know, we could set it to 60 or 35 hertz or 100 or 110 or 220. But I set it at 100, and, that, and then I'm cutting. We're cutting out a lot of the bass. That way, you know, because I don't want the vo Like, the more bass you add, the, the, the more forward in the mix the, the, the vocal can kind of be. And I kind of want it to set back a little bit. I want the actual electric bass to take up this space. And then this right here, this is a, this is a bell curve, meaning that... So this kind of shelves everything from this point down and this is everything up uh, you know from this point above this is like a little bubble a little tiny little rays and you can affect all these different frequencies so again this little center knob is your cut or your boost we're we're boosting um four decibels and <clears throat> we're bo boosting 1.6K, um, which is, you know, kind of where I found the energy in the vocal was. You can boost, you know, 4K, that's a good, that's a popular one. Um, 
or 2K. You can you can boost any of these frequencies. I mean, I can even show you what it would sound like if change it. Baton Rouge flower, you're a powerful little flame. So you see how that changes the sound. Um, and then uh, this up here is another shelf. So we're, we're adding everything. We can either select 10 or 12K, and, and we're adding everything from that point all the way up the frequency range up. So I'm boosting 3, 3 dB of 10K, 11K, 12K, everything beyond 10. Or you can just turn it off. Or you can just, um, well, you can turn any of these off. Um, or we can just add nothing. Let me show you what it's doing. How can this girl from so far away lift me up higher like sun on my skin? Fatten rouge flower. just adds a lot of presence. And then this right here is your volume knob. How loud you want it in the mix. And this analog is um, whether you want it like really digitally clean or you want that kind of analog warmth, which I'm assuming you want. It, it, it's, it, it colors the sound in a very pleasing way. Um, and that is, oh, and this is your, you know, your meter. Um, to show you your levels. But uh, really, it's it's very simple. You want to either, you, you probably want to set your high pass filter on one of these to roll off your low end, decide how much you want. Decide whether you want to cut or boost this low frequency. Um, and then decide what uh, whether you want to cut or boost this mid-range frequency here. And decide whether you want to cut or boost this high shelving frequency. This is pretty typical of what you're going to do with vocals. But uh, yeah, that's it. Um, you can also just leave it flat all the way across. M flat meaning um, you're not adding anything. But it'll it'll color the, the actual unit itself by doing, by having nothing selected, just running the sound through it. It will color the sound in a very pleasing way and you can use another EQ. Uh, hopefully that kind of clears it up for you. Um, uh, I'll leave a link below where you can check this track out. And uh, feel free to like and subscribe. And have a great day or night wherever you're coming from. All right, take care.